burst early in the game, mm -hmm. and you can do a net and do a guaranteed stun. But as the game continues into the late game, I think they're going to have some issues with disables. If you compare them to what, in my opinion, he's got a... It's, it's not looking good. He They're has no die. TP. They have a TP on Earthshaker, but he's not going to be coming, it looks like. Just a quick and easy kill yeah. on Chad. That is a first blood for Vega. But is that Blink Dagger going to have to be utilized here in some sort of contention for the Roche? They're already about uh, two-thirds of the way down. It's dead. Archon are nearby, but this is the time to make the decision. Either go in or not. Look at this Vega actually pull out briefly. But they end up going back in. Ush is nearby. They see it. Can they saw? They don't need to. Here comes the net. Uh, MSS puts a fish on. Oh. Great hook shot. Oh, man. This is a big one from Mac. They're going to annihilate him immediately with the help of the Laguna. Ush, they'll stand strong, pops his BKB, and it looks like he's just gonna be overwhelmed. He ends up going down, his Death Requiem does good damage on the no one. Korok looking to step in and clean up, but can't quite get done yet. Now he's in trouble, looking to run, needs one more second for the blink, makes it away. There is a homing missile in pursuit. Quickly bottle Courier even to bring it out. They gotta think about it, they're already going on the move here. Roche being withered away, about down to half-life. It looks like Archon don't want any of it. They've already said, yeah. we're not going to go. We need to get towers. And it looks like mid-tier one is probably their best option. But they already have Mag leaving the Roche pit. Maybe looking to lead off, get a catch so that the rest of his team could catch up here. They might get a tower mid, but with Roche dying, it's just not safe. Quark has to get back. So tower will get denied now. At the very least, I, I don't think... Oh, the... Mag with the catch again on to MSS. Holds him in close. Is he able to break out from the cogs? He is. Force forward, though. MSS will be going down to the back end of that battery assault. Mag gets a good catch there. He wants more. Moving in for Fog. Here's Ninepash charging in and an easy oh, shot down. Oh, man. That was just hunting season, and it was Birdman on the menu. Easy catch there for Ninepash. Two go down all day. It was a little unlucky there for Fog. To, uh, the first hit on Yantra Fog reduces his move to by 30%, and two dead heroes, two really important heroes, too, especially Earthshaker. Like, you have to watch out for Echo Slam. They don't care about that anymore. He's still good. He popped his DD. Here it is. Oh, man. Look at this tower. Going to get chunked down now. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, this is devastating. That backup security defense of your Earthshaker Echo not on hand and ready. They dish out the cask and the sonic wave, everything they've got to stop Vega from taking these racks. In game number one, Ush showing off his new Scott. He has to play it a bit reserved, has no buyback in case he does go down. Look at this disciplined play from Vega. They get the one. He's just always one step ahead and knows where he is and sets him up. They see Mag now. They see Jaro. I don't think so. He drops a call down and MSS getting a cut again on Q. From the set of a mag, mag just dangling out there. Power now pressing in from the southern side. MSS trying to slow them down. Blocks out the lane a bit, which will help. Radiant this time they should have all hands on deck for a bit of a defense, but they better get there quick. This tier three getting chunked away. They know that this gyro has an Aegis and now a satanic. That's almost like two full lives here, Purge. And they're going to go right for the racks. Two racks sets down. Oh man, there's going to be very slim odds of coming back into this one. But Archon will need to do something eventually. The positioning though from Vega, making it very difficult. Go. Oh, that was in. Ush sets up with a big Requiem. It's going to cost the first life, but he loses his own and he has no buyback. It was a, you know, an effort of a jump in coming out from Archon, but I think it just might be the beginning of the end here, Perch. Vega easily cleaned them up. Three go down, not coming back. It's only Korok and Chad left up and standing, and Vega already going for the last set of racks and Megas in game one. Yeah, I mean, the amount they were behind there, that was amazing. They, they blew up the gyrocopter before he's able to pop BKB. They killed the one hero that could counter-initiate with the Nagas Iron. But Radiant's they're just so far behind there. That was Aegis. They had a DD. They've got BKBs. He's got a freaking satanic. It's just their chances of losing this game at this point are 0%. And that is going to be the triple racks. Great wood shot roll. They bounce quite a bit. But there's good game called. There's just no coming back from that disadvantage. They didn't get enough value out of their roaming heroes. Like it, I think they stabilized well until the 10, 15 minute mark. But then it just kept being yeah. clockwork initiating, getting kills. And Quark did his best to poke top. But nothing happened anywhere else in the map other than Archon dying. It was a good start from them. They got it. it. It felt like in the very, very early laning stage, Mag got what they wanted, but then we saw Ush continue to just kind of appear on the side and get quick snags with those raises.